here I am in the lab. It's big big no idea how to say it. And um Malta's just lighting up for the night. And it looks so cool. Right over there is Valletta. I'm on the next strip of land. Um, it's like this fish mouth, I suppose. Um, with all different points. They say there's the three cities. I was going to try and walk up here, but it's getting semi dark. And a big lightning strike just struck over here, which looked fantastic. I'm going up the stairs at the moment to try and and get a better view. I have had a brilliant day. I got here at 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock in the morning. And um, <laughs> this is the fortified city that's been conquered by that many different people over thousands of years. I went and did the Malta experience, which gave you 10,000 years of history in 45 minutes. And it was amazing. It was just fantastic. And Islam, um, the, the Suleiman uh, Sultan was here for a couple of hundred years. They took control, um, then they lost it and to the Romans. Then they got it back for a couple of hundred more years. A few other people come and go through here, the, the Byzantine. I can't say Byzantine, but it's Byzantine. Um, and they talk a real blend of Arabic and God knows what else. Their, their accents and their words are, are really weird. Um, except they use grazie for thank you, which is pretty cool. So I didn't have to learn <laughs> another word for thank you. You know, I like to try and do a little bit of thank you and please in local language, uh, just not to be totally ignorant. Um, but it's beautiful here. It's been a buzz of a day. I've had seven hours um, over in Valletta and it was just so much fun. The sandstone's fabulous. The fortification's just huge. It just, uh, um, they they solidified this place and fought for it really hard. They so were built the forts like have been built over and right. built up over the centuries. And, um, a very small army um, won the war at one stage and then got the help. Um, Napoleon came in at some stage too and he was <laughs> ruling here as well, so the French have been here as well. Um, but eventually, <laughs> Malta had had enough. They wanted their own place. Um, so they got the English in to support them. And that's how they got colonised by England. Which means that they have lots of English food. I got to have eggs and bacon on toast this morning and baked beans on toast and oh, I couldn't have been happier. Um, and then I realised, and it took me a while because there was nobody out when I got here for a couple of hours, I'm watching the cars going, hold on, they drive on the same, they drive on the right side of the road, which is what we do, which is on the left. Um, so I've hired a car in a couple of days for the last couple of days of the trip so I can get around the island and have a really good look. So that's pretty exciting too. Um, I don't even think I need to go back into Valletta. I was there for the seven hours and walked about 15 kilometres and it's only about, I don't know, maybe two kilometres square. So I, I saw pretty much everything that it has to offer but it is beautiful at the night time. It's all lit up over there um, and it's just come to you know, a whole new different life, so I might go in of a night time and um, see what it looks like. Over on this side where I am, it's, as you can see by the marina, full of really expensive boats that are just brilliant. Um, <laughs> I was just looking at them going, well, what the other half of doing and having a good time on those boats? So this is Malta. It's beautiful. The sandstone is fantastic. There's no grey here. Um, these people have endured centuries and centuries of hardship. World War II was horrific for them. And they are the eternal people of hope. I really love the Maltese. And you know what, the Maltese Falcon? It turns out that um, St. John wanted, uh, who, who was a knight, uh, wanted to rent the island and he rented off the Romans 
and his fee for the lease was one falcon a year. So that's where the Maltese falcon comes from. So that's pretty cool. I don't know how he captured the falcon each year and got it to them, but anyway, that was the lease agreement. So um, I'm going to go and enjoy this before it's pitch black and I can't get around anymore. Talk to you tomorrow.